Okay, so here's something you really will want to know before getting hermit crabs. It's that when they molt under this, or this food dish, or this, you do not want to pick them up or undig them because that could actually cause a lot of stress on them and it could even kill them. So, that's what we're doing today. That's really good mean. He's just hiding a little shell. Um, and no, he's not, his head, his shell is not in the substrate. You can actually see his little leg there. See? But, um, right now, my biggest one, Moon, is under here, molting. And he will be under there for about a month. So this video, we will be explaining everything. So hermit crabs molt, molt. Sorry, hermit crabs molt for a reason. It's Saturday. They, they, it's Saturday. They can actually feel comfortable in the exoskeleton, the shell, and it's to help them grow. Saturday they don't die from being squeezed to death by the exoskeleton, which doesn't grow with the body. One way to help with this is by giving them calcium like eggshell or these these are full of calcium heart that's part of my protein part um so don't you don't want to disturb him as i said because it could actually disrupt them and whenever they're molting I suggest spraying in that area a lot to help keep that area wet, nice and wet, and very humid. And also, it's also to keep the whole entire tank wet. I need to spray over here. Um, so, um, the reason why hermit crabs bury underground is to protect themselves from predators because they're very vulnerable to predators because of how soft their bodies are. So they just hide underground, they don't do anything, they just sit there and molt, and sometimes they move like a little. So, um, before y'all ask, start asking any questions about how they eat, I will answer that later in the video. So after you give your crabs ways, like after your hermit crab molts, they would probably want to get into a new shell. And you need to offer a huge variety, which I have. There's all these, and then there's this. You would like to get a huge variety. So, um, this is just what I've seen based off my research. So whenever your crab is done molting, um, it has been suggested to me by my research that you may need to move them to another tank to prevent, to prevent violence between the crabs, but I don't know if that's true. Oh, here's sun now. Moon. I meant moon. That's moon. Say, sometimes if remember I'm autistic, sometimes I get focused on one thing. So, oh, I thought he'd be walking his little tiny shell all over, like some over here. I know they can't; they can be like a little bit slow, but um, yeah, just you know what I mean. Um, so. I don't know if y'all can see him. I'm just a moment. So I can't see. But um, yeah, he is underneath there somewhere. Probably like deep within that, but um, yeah. 
So, um, yeah, that's why you should not do anything with your, like, that's why you shouldn't dig them up or anything like that, because stress them out, now bye.